Can we do something a little different tonight? I'm just going to obey the Lord. I want us all, if we could, join hands with our neighbors. we got many sick tonight. Some in the hospital, some in the emergency room. Joe went to the emergency room. Many are sick tonight. Let's just join together. I know we're going to go to the Lord in prayer after a while, but let's just start service off tonight and pray that God would just touch those that are sick and strengthen those, God, that are weak tonight. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come together, God, in one mind and one accord, God, to worship you. And Father, I pray for each and every one, God, that's sick and afflicted tonight. God, those in the hospital, God, those in the nursing home, God, those, God, that couldn't come tonight due to sickness. I pray, God, tonight, God, that you would reach down your great, mighty hand, and God, that you would heal their bodies tonight. God, we know there's not a sickness nor a disease, God, that you cannot heal. And God, we know tonight you're bigger than everything that ails our bodies. And I pray, God, that you would touch and minister tonight. Father, I ask it all in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. We call it done tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give him a hand clap. Brother Dan's going to lead us to worship. Let's just enter in and worship the Lord tonight. Is it alright if we sing some good old camp meeting songs tonight? Yes. Alright right with everybody? Alright, how many is thankful that he abides? Yes. I'm rejoicing night and day.
You know, there's an old song that says, I'm nearer home than I was yesterday. That's not what we're going to sing next. But I don't know about you, but I've come too far to turn back now. I'm, I feel like traveling on. The Lord has been so good to me. I feel like traveling on until that blessed home I see. I feel like traveling on. Oh, yes, I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling. Sing that fourth verse again. Oh, the Lord has been so good to me. I feel like traveling on until that blessed home I see. I feel like traveling. tonight we sang this the Friday night of convention and the lady that was leading I liked what she said she said you know I didn't have an earthly father so I didn't know 
really what it was like to have a father that loved me until I met the father up above. We serve a good, good father. Let's worship tonight as we sing this song. A thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. I've seen many searching for answers far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers only you provide because you know just what we need before we say a word you're a good good father it's who you are it's who you are it's who you are and i'm loved by you it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. Lord, you're perfect in all of your ways. To us, sing that again. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. Lord, you're perfect in all of your ways. To us, love so undeniable, I can hardly speak. Peace so unexplainable, I can hardly think as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still into love 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 you're a good good father it's who you are it's who you are it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am, sing you're perfect, you are perfect in all of your ways, you are perfect in all of your ways, you are perfect in all of your ways, to us, you're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are. It's who you are. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Can you put that first verse up for me real fast? That Those last two lines. You tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. How many of you tonight have ever felt alone? Right, I think, I think we feel that a lot here on earth. There's times where troubles are coming, situations are coming, life happens, medical issues happen, they rise up, and we feel alone. 
But aren't you thankful tonight that we have a good, good Father who is in heaven that never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He never leaves us alone. He's always there for you. No matter your situation. We can be in the dead of night feeling, you know, with our tears, our eyes full of tears. Our eyes are bloodshot because we're crying so much because, God, I just don't know what I'm going to do. But he never leaves you. He never forsakes you because he loves you. You of all people, he loves. He is a good father. Let's sing that once more. Can we sing that chorus again? Let's just worship him tonight for his goodness. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. You're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. Father, we thank you for your goodness tonight, Lord. You're so good to us. Jesus, you're so good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, have your way tonight, Lord. You're so good. Thank you, Lord. Shut up. You're so good, Lord. You're so good. Let's turn to him for prayer. If you have a need tonight, would you simply lift your hand? Would you keep it lifted for just a moment? Would you look around you if your hand's not lifted? Would you move to that person standing next to you or just put your arm around them to get ready to pray for them? You know, Pastor preached this morning that where two or three are gathered, there he is in the midst of you, right? I know that we come collectively as a body of Christ tonight, as you know, here as a congregation, but you saw the hands. Go be that two or three where God can come between the midst of you, right? Because that's what he wants to do. He wants to come and meet you at your needs tonight. Let's, Let's pray. Lift each other up tonight. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your goodness and your grace, Father God, that you see us from heaven, Lord, that you love us so much that when it feels like we're all alone, And God, we don't know what to do, and and we're crying out for you and your needs, God. We just thank you, God, in advance for your goodness and your grace and everything that you are going to do for us, Lord. God, I thank you that you see us from heaven and that you see all of the needs across this room, God. You see the needs, Lord, of those who can't even be here tonight, that maybe they're in the hospital or they're sick at home or whatever it may be, God. You see our needs. And you love us so much that you are coming and meeting us here tonight at our needs, Lord. God, we lift these needs up to you, God. You know every single one of them, Lord. I pray, God, that you would come meet us at our needs. Bring healing touches to people, Father God. Whether it's physical, emotional, or mental, God, bring a healing touch to us tonight, Father. Jesus, we thank you that you shed your blood so that we could receive that healing. God, you are so good to us. You are so good, Lord. God, any other needs that may need to be met tonight, whether it's it's a child who left home and, and needs to return back to you, God, we lift them up to you tonight, Lord. And God, we thank you that you see them where they are and that you are calling them back to you. God, you're so good. You're so good, Lord. Father, we love you. We just praise you tonight, God. Anything else, Lord, that you see that I can't even fathom to think of, Lord. God, I pray that you would come and meet our needs tonight. Jesus, we thank you that you're coming. Holy Spirit, come be our comforter tonight. Jesus, we love you. We give you all this praise in your name, Lord. in our praises as 
said look into him let's look into him for just a moment just a moment longer let's respond to the spirit speaking to us tonight for what you've already done for us tonight, Lord. God, we thank you for what you're about ready to do. 
uh, and that you're about to speak to us tonight, Father God. I pray, Holy Spirit, you would continue to minister to us tonight. You would continue to move in our midst tonight, Father God. God, we open our hearts to you tonight, God, and we just say, we just want to say thank you for everything you do to us, Lord. Lord, as we continue uh, this time of worship, God, as, as we give back to you with our tithes and offerings, God, I pray, Lord, that you would just bless this and that you would multiply it and that you would just have your way with it, Lord God. Bless us tonight as we bless you, Lord Jesus. God, we pray this all in your holy name. Everybody said, Amen. As Cody said, this is a time of worship as well. Let's continue in it and sing this song with us tonight. God is so good. God is so sing that one more time but without the music lift your hands as we sing it oh god is so good god Because, God, you still make a way, God, but there still seems to be no way. We thank you, God, for who you are. You are a good Father tonight. And we exalt you and we magnify you tonight. Lord, there is no other name given unto heaven where we might be saved. And we thank you for salvation through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can we give him a hand of praise? Amen. He is good. Isn't he good? Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you have your Bible tonight, I'd like you to turn to Isaiah chapter 40. 
And we're going to read verse number 6. Isn't he good tonight? Isaiah 40, verse 6. If you found that, say amen. Amen. You didn't say, oh me. I got an oh me, so I'll wait. If you don't have your Bibles, it's on the screen for you. Starting in verse 6 says, The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all godliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Tonight I want to preach on the thought of Lord blow on us. Lord blow on us. Let's pray. Father I thank you for your presence. God that's truly here tonight. I thank you God for all that you've already done here in this place. We thank you God for your goodness, your mercy and your grace. And I thank you God for allowing me to stand here tonight and to declare your word. I know tonight, God, your word, it's alive, it's powerful. God, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. God, getting down in between the soul and the spirit, down in the bone and the marrow. God, dividing asunder tonight. And Father, I stand here tonight in need of help, God, realizing I can't do this by myself. God, anoint me and use me. Help me, God, to decrease, Lord, that you might increase. Fill my mouth with your words and not my words. But God, most of all, anoint me with the Holy Ghost tonight. God, that I could speak every word under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Father, anoint every ear to hear and every heart to receive your word. Father, I pray it all in the name of Jesus. And everyone said tonight, Amen. Amen. The Bible says all flesh is grass and all godliness is is as the flower. As long as the Spirit of God is blowing on the inside of us, how many knows we will not fade away in the spiritual realm? On the outside, our flesh is like the grass and the flower. Amen. On the outside, grass begins to dry and begins to turn brown. If you start looking outside right now, the grass is starting to turn brown. It's starting to wither. And the flowers are beginning to wither and to, and to begin to fade away for the winter. But as long as God's on the inside of us, how many knows the Bible says, hey man, if we take our last breath here, we'll take our next breath there. The Bible says to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. But that doesn't change the fact that this body, this flesh it is fading away. But we must allow the Spirit of God to blow in us that our spirit, amen, can remain alive, amen, even though this flesh may be deteriorating and this flower may be fading away, amen, the inner man is renewed day by day. Why? Because the Spirit of God is blowing on the inside of us, amen, the Spirit of God is alive on the inside of you and I tonight, amen, amen. are you glad for His Spirit? Are you glad tonight He's still blowing on His people? Amen. Amen. Let the winds of the Holy Ghost blow. Amen. Let the winds blow on the inside. Amen. As long as the Spirit of God blows in us, we will remain alive. This flesh may deteriorate. 
this flesh may get weak. It may fade away. But when we, amen, leave this life, we will live forever. We will remain alive in Christ. As long as God's Spirit, amen, is dwelling on the inside of us. As long as the Spirit of God is alive in us, we will live forever. Amen? We need the Spirit of the Lord to blow in us as individuals. We need the Spirit of God to blow in this church. Amen? We can come in here and we can go through the motions. Amen? We can look like we're having church. Amen? But unless the Holy Ghost, amen, begins to blow, amen, we're just making noise. Amen? I want the winds of the Holy Ghost to blow upon us. I want the winds of the Holy Ghost to blow in me. Amen? And blow upon us. Amen? I don't want to be a dead, dry church. I don't want to be a dead, dry Christian. I don't want to fade away. Amen. Amen. I don't want people, amen, to look at me and say, I don't want what he's got. He's dead. He's dry. And he's barren. Amen. But I want people to look at me and say, I want what he's got. He's got something inside of him that is real. Not that people can look at me for me, but that I can point them and say, it's not me. It's him that lives inside of me. Blow on us, Lord. Blow on us, Lord. Blow on us, Lord. That we might be able to blow on somebody else. Hallelujah. When the winds of the Spirit stop blowing, how many knows we will die? There are people... Amen. That have used to sit in these pews. We kind of talked about this morning. There are people that we know in our lives. Amen. That they've allowed the Spirit of God to quit blowing in their lives. And they no longer serve God. Amen. But I'm telling you tonight, we got to have the winds of God blowing in our lives every single day. Amen. This is not just a Sunday thing. This is a seven day a week thing. Blow on us, Lord. Blow on us, Lord. Amen. Help us not to get dry. Help us not to get weary. Help us not to fade and blow away. But let us stand, amen, on the promises of the Word of God. Let us stand on the things of God that we know to be true. Amen. Sometimes we get busy in our lives. And we're just kind of blowing through life or we're just going through life. Don't get too busy, you forget to pray. Don't forget to get too busy where you forget about the inner man. He needs us. Amen. He, I mean, he needs regenerated every single day. Amen. He needs the winds of God blowing. Amen. On the inside of us every single day. Amen. The Bible says, Grath withered, the flower faded, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely people of the grass, the grass withered, the flower faded, but the Word of God shall stand forever. People will come. People will go. Amen. Ideas will come. Ideas will go. But the Word of God will remain forever. Hallelujah. We must allow the Word of God to come alive inside of us. This is not some boring, dead, dry book. This Word is alive tonight. This Word is alive tonight. And we need the Word of God in us. That we might remain alive. Amen. We don't need a new idea. We need the Word of God. We need the winds of the Holy Ghost blowing in us. Amen. We need the power of Almighty God blowing inside of us. We need this Word to come alive. Amen. Because I believe tonight His Word is still alive. It's still relevant for 2019. Jesus said, greater works than these shall you do. I want to see the greater works than what Jesus did us happen around here. But it won't happen if we dry up and we die. If we don't allow the Word of God to remain alive inside of us. Amen. We will not see greater works. But I believe tonight this flesh will dry up. This flesh will fade away. But the Word of God inside of us will remain forever. 
If you want to stand on something, you stand on it. And you can believe it for truth. If God gave you a promise, how many knows you can take it to the bank? I want to see greater works than these. Don't you? I want to see wheelchairs parked out there. Amen. Well, God, they came in in a wheelchair and they walked out and left that wheelchair. Amen. I want doctors to come into the room and say, I don't understand what has happened. I don't know what's going on. Something has happened. Why God showed up and God intervened. That's what happened. Amen. When the winds of the Spirit blow, we will not die. Amen. We will live forever. God's Word will remain forever. Amen? Amen. Praise God. I'm glad tonight for His Word. The Word of the Lord will stand forever. They've tried to do away with it. They've tried to take it out of our schools, and they have. They're trying to get it out of our government. They've tried to try to disprove it. They've tried to do away with it. But how many knows tonight God's Word is still alive? It's still as well as it's ever been before. It's still the number one bestseller tonight. It's not just a novel. It's not just a storybook. But it's life. It's fruit. And it's power. And it's food for our souls tonight. This Word will abide forever. How many believes that? Don't just take it home and lay it on your coffee table. Don't just take it home and put it on your nightstand. Amen. Don't just take it home and sit it down. But you open this thing up and let it come alive on the inside of you. Yes, this flesh may get weary. Yes, this flesh may begin to deteriorate. And you may not feel as young as what you used to, amen, feel. But on the inside, amen, you can let the joy of the Lord begin to renew your strength. Amen. You can let the joy of the Lord begin to burn on the inside of you. As God begins to blow in our hearts, amen, through His Word. His Word will regenerate you. His Word will renew you. His Word will transform you. Amen? And His Word will abide forever. This earth is going to fade away, and it's fading away. People will fade away. People will die and leave this life. Amen? But thank God that's not the end of the story. There is a life to come. There is a heaven to gain and there is a hell to shun. Amen. I'm glad tonight. Amen. When I leave this life, I'm headed to heaven. No longer am I headed to hell. ACDC sings the song, Highway to Hell. I'm glad tonight I used to be on the highway to hell. But thank God tonight, Jesus Christ, He blew into my spirit. He saved my soul. And tonight, I'm on the highway to heaven. And I'm looking forward to walking through the gates of that city. I'm looking forward to hearing the Lord say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. How many knows tonight that will not happen? Unless we allow the Word of God to come alive in our hearts. Amen. This Word is not a fiction. It's true. The true living Word. Inspired Word of God. Amen. People try to deny it. People try to discredit it. But it will stand forever. There are times in our lives that we get, go to, play, get to spiritual places of dryness. Has anybody ever been there? The flower faded, the grass withered. And sometimes in our spiritual lives, the spiritual things kind of seem to dwindle off or they begin to wither and they begin to fade sometimes. That's why we must allow the winds of God to blow on us every day. That's why we've got to get the Word of God out and let it renew our spirits and our minds every single day of our lives. Amen. Not, this is not just a Sunday thing or a once a week thing. This Word has been given to us to bring us food for our weary souls. This Word was given to us that we might live victorious Christian lives. We don't have to walk in defeat and we don't have to walk around in those dead, dry places. But how many knows tonight there are times that we have to go to those dry places? That's when we got to know that we know that we know that we know that I'm still saved and I'm still going to heaven. Even though I may have to go into a dry place. 
Even though I have to may go into a weak place. Amen. I believe God can still blow wherever you're at tonight. I'm reminded in Ezekiel chapter 37, if you want to turn over there with me. Lord, blow on us. Lord, blow on us tonight. Maybe you're here tonight, you're in a dry place. Maybe you're in a place you need God to blow on you tonight. Maybe you got some loved ones that have strayed away and they've become dry, dead bones tonight. I believe tonight God wants to bring some breath into your bones, bring some life into our hearts tonight. Amen. Let's go to Ezekiel 37, verse number 1. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me. He carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord, and He set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Now tonight, stopping there, how many know sometimes in this life we have to go through the valley? How many knows in the valley, that's where we can grow strength. But there are times in this Christian life, we got to go through the dry, dead places of life. And we have to go into the valley of the bones that may be around us, may seem dead. But we need to know in the midst of the valley of dry bones, God is still there with us. Amen? How many knows He don't abandon you in the dry places? He don't leave you in the dry places. He don't forsake His children in the dry places. But how many knows He goes with us through the dry places in our lives? Brother Roy mentioned this this morning. We all know the story of the footprints in the sand. When the hard times of life comes, and when you go through the valley of dry bones, when you walk through the dry places of life, if God has to carry you, how many knows God will carry you? Amen? It says, then number two, he caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many in the open valley, and they were very dry. How many knows we're living in a day and hour, amen, of dryness? A lot of people just want to come to church, amen, go through the motions, get their check mark for the week. And go about their lives. They don't really want the fullness of God. They don't want the Spirit of God moving in their lives. They don't want God to convict them of anything. They just want to show up to church. Amen. And make it look, make them feel good. And make it look like they're a religious person. Amen. But how many know tonight it's more than being religious. There are a lot of dry bones in the church today. Verse 3, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Did you hear it? Hear the word of the Lord. How many knows tonight God's word? It's a lie tonight. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. His word is alive tonight. Even in the midst of dryness. Even in a midst where society don't want to hear it. We still need to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Where did I lost my place? Got a little happy. Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 God Almighty, amen. We may go through dry places in our lives, we may walk through the valley and dry bones, but God can bring breath back into our lives, amen. How many believes that tonight? Maybe you came here tonight. Maybe you're dry. You're bare. And God can bring breath into your dead, dry bones. Yes. Hallelujah. We serve a God that's still blowing. We serve a God that still brings dead bones 
back to life. Maybe you got some family members that are dead and dry. They've strayed away from God. God wants to bring breath back into them. We got to believe. We got to pray. We got to prophesy in the name of the Lord that these dead bones shall live. We got loved ones that need to come back and find life. We got family members. Well, same thing, but you know what I'm saying. We got people we know that are dead and dry. They need to find life again. And I believe tonight God's still blowing. Amen. He wants to bring life back to your dead, dry bones. And our loved ones that have dried and blown away. Verse 7, is that where we're at? So I prophesied. As I was commanded. And as I prophesied. Oh hallelujah. There was a noise. And behold a shaking. How many knows we need some shaking? Yeah. Amen. We need yeah. some shaking in this house. Amen. I'm not talking about a man shake. I'm not talking about a drummed up shake. Amen. But I'm talking about a shaking in the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about a spiritual shaking. Amen. In the house of God. We need God's Spirit to shake us and wake us up tonight. Hallelujah. Let Him shake us. Hallelujah. Shake us, Lord. Yes. Where did I lose my place? Sorry. And the bones came together. Bone to His bone. See, He didn't get somebody else. There was just a bunch of bones laying there. That's how big God is. There's just bones scattered all over the place. Brother Dan's bones laying over there. Brother Joe's bones were laying over there. Brother Nate's bones were back there. Sister Poole's bones were over here. Amen. Bones were all over the place. But the bones came back together to the bones that they belonged to. Amen. God knows exactly what He's doing tonight. Yes, things may look chaotic. Things may look a mess. But God still is in control. Amen. Hallelujah. Bone to his bone. Not my bone to your bone or your bone to my bone. His bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. And the skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. Amen. We can have the form of godliness. Amen. We can come in here with our ties on, our suits on, our Bibles under our arms, and we can look like Johnny Christian. Amen. But if we ain't got no breath in us, we're dead, dry bones. I don't want a form of godliness. I want the power thereof. Hallelujah. Too many people are going through the form. Let's let the power of God flow. Let the winds blow again. Hallelujah. But there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath. Breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded and breath came unto them and they lived. And they stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Hallelujah. The wind blew again. Amen. You may be here tonight and you may feel like you're in the valley of dry bones. You may feel like you're in a dry place and you need God to blow in you tonight again. I believe tonight, amen, the winds of the Holy Ghost are blowing here tonight and God wants to blow into you and He wants to prophesy unto you tonight and He wants you to come alive in Him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we must allow Him. How many knows God's not going to force Himself on nobody? Then He said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried, our hope is lost. Maybe you're here tonight, you feel like your hope is lost. Amen. I came to tell you tonight, as long as you got breath, you still got hope. As long as you got life in you, you still got hope tonight. Hope is 
is not in this church. Hope is not in me. Hope is not in one another. But our hope lies in the Lord. It says, and our hope is lost, and we are cut off for our parts. Maybe you're here tonight, you feel like this right here. Maybe you feel like you're dry. Maybe you feel weary. Maybe you feel cut off. Maybe you feel alone tonight. God wants to blow on you tonight. Not a man's wind. Not my wind, but His wind. God wants to renew your hearts tonight. He wants to rekindle some fires tonight. He wants to lead somebody out of the dry bones into a spiritual watering hole. Amen. If we stand to our feet tonight, as Brother Dan comes to the music and the singers come, and we begin to sing and begin to play and begin to focus on the Lord tonight. Winds, blow on us. Blow on us, Lord. Blow on us, Lord. Hallelujah. As we bow our heads and close our eyes for just a moment. Maybe you're here tonight. I believe everybody in this building is saved. But maybe you're here tonight. You're in a place of dryness. Maybe you're in a valley tonight. I want you to come stand across the front of this church. Maybe you're in a place tonight and you're in a valley of decision. Maybe you're in the valley where you just can't even feel God's presence. You feel all alone. Come on, somebody. Get out of your seat tonight. God's talking to somebody. God didn't give me this word just for me. I need it tonight, but I know somebody else does. Come on, somebody. Somebody else. You're in a dry place. You may feel like dead, dry bones when you walked into this house tonight. Maybe you feel like you've been beat up, pushed down. Tonight you're coming out. If you'd be willing to get out of your seat, begin to worship and magnify God. I believe tonight God wants to blow some winds on somebody tonight. Fresh winds. Hallelujah. Those of you that didn't come, I want you to come stand behind somebody up here. Come stand behind some of these. Hallelujah. You that are up here, begin to lift your hands. I'm not going to blow on you. The Holy Ghost is going to blow on you. Lift your hands tonight. Receive what God has for you tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Blow on them tonight, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah.
your Holy Spirit. You go fresh, fresh, and hard to start. Oh, but most of all, hallelujah. We thank you for sending your son. You give us life eternal. Now, God, let your spirit, your peace go with each and every one. Keep your hand upon each and every one, Lord, this week. Lord, we'll never fail to give you praise and glory to God. Yeah. Yeah.